All right, so this video is going to be about fixing like the plugin errors that came with version 10 by installing the legacy wave central. So all the information will be in the description box, the links and such. So I will begin by going to this page right here where you can download version nine. Now, you'll know when you're downloading it right, because obviously you will hit download and it will bring you to this screen right here. And from there, you know, you select either Win or Mac. So it should be all Waze plugins version 9.92, which was last updated May 3rd. So I'm gonna download the Windows version. It's gonna be about 3.3 gigs and we'll continue when I finish downloading. Finally, it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this area right here and I'm gonna select show and folder. Uh, do keep in mind that I am using Google Chrome like most people use, but if you happen to be an internet explorer guy, you could do the exact same thing. And I do apologize on Windows. So anyways, from here, you see when you click on that, it will bring you to central offline version 9.9. Nine two. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to right click on it, cut it. And then from here, I am going to go to my desktop because I want it on my desktop. So now I'm on the desktop here. I pasted it on the desktop and now I'm going to choose extract here. I'm just going to open it up on my desktop. It's going to create a folder and it's going to be a minute. I'm going to drag this wave folder over and we're going to open it up so that we can see what's in there. So you'll see install wave central L. So this is just really easy to do. If you do have waves version 10 on your computer, you can keep that on your computer for when they, you know, further update it and get it up to speed when they add all the plugins in. But this version right here is the legacy version. So Right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install that. So from here, you see Welcome to Wave Central L stands for Legacy uh, Setup Wizard. Just going to go ahead and click Next. Click Accept. And then click Install. All right, so now that I have it installed, I'm going to go over here to Wave Central L. Now from Wave Central L being open, I'm gonna to go to Install Products, select Offline Installer. We're gonna to navigate to the desktop, so we're gonna hit Desktop. Then we're gonna go into Waves folder. Then we're gonna highlight Installers and then press Select Folder. From here, all of the installers should pop up again. Do keep in mind, as a reminder here, you don't have to uninstall your your licenses or anything like that if you was in the other one. Uh, your licenses should be on your OS. So I just wanted to show that real quick. I do apologize. So from here, you'll see all of the plugins that you can install. Just install the ones you have licenses for, and you should be fine. So you would accomplish that by just going like every, if you have every road collection, which I don't, uh, you would just go and click on that. It'll pull up right here. If you don't have it, just remove and, you know, just put in something and then uh, click install. Now we're going to open up FL Studio 20. So I'm going to go ahead and select a plugin. Select the CLA 2A. And there we have it. CLA 2A is right there. And yeah, there you go. FL Studio 20 can use Waves plugins too. So anyways, uh, let me know how you feel about this video. Comments, of course. And, you know, just tell me, you know, in the comment section, if you was confused, uh, I do recommend that you just 
take your time and watch the video again as many times as possible. I'm DJ Av. Thank you for your time. Trap Tendo.